folks, it's a hot summer's day here in St Kilda. Wait, who's this? Why, it's friend of the vlog, Mr Jock Reed Hill. How are you, Jock? Hot, how are you? I'm hot too. Also, the weather's hot. Anyways, hey, we're in St Kilda today. Should we do a vlog? Yes. Hello folks, this is Andrew from Andrew's World Journeys. Don't believe me? See, I told you it was me, I'm here. It's St Kilda. Yes, I'm back in St Kilda again for you. Uh, today for another episode of Melbourne Revealed. And once again, I am joined by the irrepressible, the Itafati Gable, I don't know how you pronounce that word properly. Indefatigable. Indefatigable. Mr. Jock Reed Hill. Hello, Jock. Hello. What do you think of St Kilda on a hot day? I think it wants to be Miami from the 80s and hasn't quite managed it, but it's close enough. Did you bring your rollerblades? No, I sat oversight. Yes, Maybe I've been rollerblading once in my life and it was here somewhere, well not right here, <laughs> in St Kilda, amongst the palm trees. There's beaches, there's cafes, there's restaurants, and we've got an hour or so to check them out. St Kilda was founded in the year, who knows, by some people who were Kilders, uh, Mr Kilda and his wife. Fran and um, they settled here because they thought it was the perfect place to open a subway uh, and they were into the franchise business. Uh, on a more serious note you may recognize this here this is uh, Luna Park from the previous vlog and uh, Jock and I we're gonna find a place to eat. Uh, we're just coming up here to a road called Ackland Street this is Jock, would you say the most well-known road in uh, St Kilda? Yes, the most well-known one to be drunk on. Yes, it's a place for eating, drinking and... Partying when the sun yeah, goes down. Yeah, partying when the sun goes down. He said, uh, there is no shortage at all of places to eat here. So, I'm feeling like making a reasonably quick choice here. What do we got here? Oh, this is the vine. The vineyard. The vineyard. No, this is Andrew. We have the Secure Tram trundling past us. When you put that many Australian flags on something, it's probably important. Yes. Seven Apples Vegetarian Cafe. Uh, not your people job. who know me will know that I will not be going there. Uh, because of the vegetarian aspect. Ice cream, Seven Apples ice creams though. I've had them before and they're quite good. Final destination, let's eat in there. Some delicious rubble in there, I reckon we can make fine. Rubble tastes good these days. It's hard to get a place that does rubble well. Got Tommy Tuckers. Can I just walk over here? Uh, Ackland Street is the end of the, uh, is it the 96? I think it's the 96 tram. As you can see, full of backpacking stuff. This is it, this is it, this is it, La Roche. Are you happy? Yeah, sure. All right, this is where we're eating. Here we are on the other side of Ackland Street. And we are full. Mr. Reed Hill. Uh -huh. Thoughts on uh, La Roche? Go the ribs. Ribs, oh my god. Biggest bloody ribs I've ever had, I tell ya. Kind of 
Jock is taking us into an unexplored dimension. What might we find here? Perhaps a link to the future or another universe. Oh, a little bar here. This is exactly the back bar. Exactly the Pretty cool. What? Is that part of the same establishment? Yes. No, no, I'm sure we can get out this way. Let's go. Let's explore. Bit of strat for you there. Bit of St Kilda street art. Some of it's alright over here. I imagine if anywhere it's going to be pretty good at St Kilda. I mean, they got some titties up there. Sort of <laughs> yeah. There it's a car park. Sick. And we're in a car park. Sort of car park central here. While we're in this fair car park, uh, how would you describe St Kilda as a suburb? Lively. Pretty lively, you mean more than one word? Yeah, I was hoping for a little, a little exposition. More. Well, it's a place you're going to go if you've never been to Melbourne before, so touristy to a degree, nightlife is pumping, not the place to go if you wanted a nice, calm, really easy time of it. There's generally something going on here at all hours. It's pretty hip, yeah? Yeah, Brunswick Street's more hip. They want to be hip, but they're not. Yeah, well, so they try hard Brunswick? Yeah, pretty much. Brunswick Street if you want to go to the hip joint, and that's if you care about such things. Well, I do plan to do one on Brunswick, actually. Well, there you go. Now, over here, we, uh, I came this way because I saw this. Yeah. A giant bat. Here's where COVID started. On this street art. This street art is too new. <laughs> So I thought we'd walk down to the end of Ackland's, well, the, not the end of Ackland Street. We're just going to go down this way, then we're going to go across and have a look at the historic Palais Theatre. Um, and then after that, we're going to have a look at the beach. And that's basically it. What do you think? Yeah, great day. That was Jockery Hill saying great day. Who feels like a huge ice cream? Not me. No, not die. die. Scoops. That'd be ice cream. As you can see, lots of different cuisine. Malaysian, Japanese, vegetarian. Fortunately, an art gallery that's shut down. That's sad. You're uh, your typical Aussie fish and chip shop. The St. Kilda Burger. That's not open, unfortunately. Uh, so here you got the RSL2, retired to uh, return servicemen's league in this uh, historic building. Um, and look, they they look ye olde style. Um, man, I can't think of words now after that lunch. That too. Well, I did want to have a little look. If we just go up here and around the corner. And of course, keep in mind we're in COVID times. We don't have any tourists from other countries here at the moment. So this place is usually a lot busier, isn't it, Jock? Yes. That was Jock saying yes. <laughs> Potential star there of the next vlog, who knows. And here we are, the adult clearance outlet. We're making a right here, swinging a right. Uh, over here we have the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Uh, you know, there used to, I'm sure there used to be a backpackers just here. Jock, where's the backpackers? I don't know, I don't come up here. I don't uh, attempt to really be a backpacker on this section of the world in Korea. Oh, you can hire a bike. 
if you are coming from the airport, the Sky Bus stops here in St Kilda. This is it. Here we go. X base. X base here is a backpackers place, I think. Is it? I don't know. It's a bar and diner and a backpackers. They do. Are you prepared to cross here or would you like to? Okay folks, this is what St Kilda is all about. It's about the beach and Luna Park. But mostly about the beach today. Folks, it's St Kilda Beach. of activity. Get a suntan, go for a swim. You can do both at the same time if you're lucky. What do we think, Jock? What do we think of St Kilda Beach? It's a good beach. It's a reason to come here. Yeah, I know that people in New South Wales go, oh, you got no good beaches in Victoria. No, really but this good. isn't bad. This is this is happening. What is it, Port Lion? Somewhere around here we have magnificent beaches. Don't know what they're talking about. Lovely beaches. Lovely There's beaches for swimming and not wearing many clothes. This lovely beach is full of fucking people. Man. Yeah, that's the problem. Beaches are much better without people. Oh, they are that, isn't it? But we can solve that. Shark! Shark! COVID! COVID! <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. We're not that funny. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Down here. Look at that, that's pretty nice sand. I mean, sure, there's a very good chance that you'll st step on a needle or two, but nevertheless, the sand's a good colour. The roof's going to open up. There you go, restaurants on the side, beach on the left of me, restaurants on the right, and I'm stuck in the middle with Jock. You sound like it's a bad thing. People used to camp in tents, but these days they keep they keep the sun off you. Oh look, it's Jock again. He's still here. Can't, can't stop. Can you tell tell everyone what, what's what's going on with your shirt there? The return of the vampire. Mm -hmm. ah, I get it. I get Baboon, it. It's catchy. Yeah. <laughs> look at this trendy trendy place. Well, folks, that's the beach for you. We're going there, folks. That's the Palais Theatre, an historic theatre in St Kilmada.
This is the historic Palais Theatre, uh, not open at the moment. They still have uh, concerts and stuff here. I think they've tried to knock this thing down a couple of times, tried to get rid of it, but it's, uh, it's regarded as like an, an historic building. And so I don't think they're able to, which is great news because it's, uh, it's quite a beautiful, if not that beautiful on the outside. I'd love to go inside, take you inside one day, uh, but it's not possible today. But I think uh, it'll be a highlight if we did get to do that. Oh, who's this over there? Who's that over there? It's Mr. Jock Reed Hill, he's still following me. Because this is where we're going to say goodbye. Okay. We're going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us again for Melbourne Revealed. We hope you've uh, enjoyed this very short uh, but scenic look at St Kilda. I am personally pretty much done. <laughs> it's hot. It's sunny. It's, I don't know, I don't know. Insert, insert word that exhausts you here. I would also like to thank Jock for coming out today and bearing the heat with me. Thank you very much. No How have you found St Kilda today? Always love St Kilda. It's one of Melbourne's great suburbs, I'd say. One of them, yeah. That and Dingley. They would certainly like yeah. to tell you. That and Dingley, Dingley's. Dingley, yeah. Right there. Dingley's right there too. Thank you for joining me. Please join me again. Thank you again, Jock, for joining me. No worries. Mr. Jock Reed Hill, take care wherever you are in the world, all three of you. <laughs> uh, what else can I say other than take care? I don't know. I could say, may the journey never end.